Without further ado, I want to introduce to you the Executive Dir Director, Dr. Donald Feinstein. Well, it's been uh, an unbelievable, memorable evening so far. I had a plan. Uh, Mike Kodak and I were going to come up together and talk about 20 years ago when I was in his office, and his office was on Clark Street, right across the street from the school district. And he had this idea about training teachers in an innovative, unique way. And Irony Duncan used to come ac run across the street, and he never, if you know Irony, he doesn't wear a jacket. To most events, he doesn't wear a sport, ja sport coat, jacket. He's like a working man superintendent. He used to come across the street, and Mike would share this idea about this residency program in, in 2000. And I was going to say to Mike, and he can't be here tonight, he, he sends his regards, his regrets, but he's in here in spirit. Uh, and he would say, Let's train in a new way, a year long. Instead of training just student teaching for eight, 10 weeks, let's train teachers for a year. And then send them to schools that are high need and they'll be the catalyst for transformation, for unique change and, and for better outcomes for, for students. So um, obviously you always have a contingency plan. So that plan is to let you know that um, we, we have trained 1,200 teachers, and he wanted to just acknowledge like three. And I said, Mike, it's the 20th year, Gail, let's do 20 for 20. And look, 20 for 20, if you think about it, it's less than 2% of the graduates that have gone through the program. And, and let's show everyone here the breadth, the depth of who we are and what we've accomplished. And, and these are the men and women where the rubber meets the road in the classroom. It's, it's the hardest job you can have in education. They, they're resilient, they persevere, they have grit, they reflect, they have compassion, they have passion, they have urgency for the work. And they're here now, they're standing there, and I have this great pleasure of introducing for the first time, and of course, you'd say, where did this award come from? It came from the 20th year gala, the, the, the Martin J. Kodak Educator Leadership Award. And this is for these wonderful men and women who, and, and here, here's what's it's so amazing. Everyone believed in his vision of equity and fairness, equal educational opportunity, leveling the playing field. Let's have every student have what our children had and experience and access and opportunity. And, and let's make that the, the general, um, way of doing public education. But these individuals, they didn't think about it and join us. They actually took the leap of faith. They were the ones who believed in the vision and actually changed their job, changed their trajectory, changed their life, changed their journey to believe in this residency program in 2001. And what was it going to be like? And where do I go? How do we do this? And, and they were the true pioneers and they're still um, surprising us with their excel excellence and, and just their supreme way of delivering quality instruction to students. So I'd like now to call their name and uh, I'd like the director of the, the uh, managing director, Michael Whitmore, and our managing director of external relations, Shane Caterino, to come up. And as I call your name, I'd like you in, in, to accept this award on our behalf that you've been, your brilliance. Your dedication is just outshining all of us because you did it, you believed in it, and you're continuing spreading love and, and, and care to all the students under your jurisdiction and obligation and supervision. So the first award, awardee, Chelsea Bennett. Latanya Buckner. <laughs> S 
Sarah Buhayer. Marquis Butler. Marquis couldn't be here tonight, so we will accept the award on his behalf, like just like at the Grammys. Shirley Chavaria could not be here tonight, but we will accept her uh, award on her behalf. Teresa Chavez. <laughs> Leah Gunther. Demetrius Hurd. You see, Demetrius works at Chicago Public Schools, and why he's on his best behavior is boss is here tonight. Pedro Martinez is in the, is in the back, the new, super, the new CEO of Chicago Public Schools. We're honored and proud to have him here, and we wish him the best of luck over the years. He's the right man for the position now. He knows Chicago, and he is empathetic and caring for all students across the city of Chicago. Jessica Kimbrew. She's actually on our team. <laughs> Michael Kankaleski. <laughs> Greta Kringle. Melissa Levine could not be here. I accept her award on, on our, her behalf. Thaisa Lau. <laughs> Terrence Murphy. <laughs> All right, Terrence. Hey, Kate Peterson. Not only is Kate the director of the Chicago Teacher Residency Program, she was in our first class. She's been with us for 19 years. Regina Roberts. Lakeisha Triplett. <laughs> they all know Michael. Juan Uribe. <laughs> Javier Velasquez could not be here tonight. I accept the award on his behalf. LaShawn Whitney. We, we have one more award. I, I do know Mike Zabrowski will uh, approve of this award because uh, Mike's been an unbelievable supporter and, and has uh, worked with him and has been involved in his school. You know, um, Victor Iteralde was, uh, when I was the principal, he was the founder AP at Chicago Academy. And that was 20 years ago when we opened. He, he, when we opened the school, he was my AP. And then he became the principal of Chicago Academy. And then when the city gave us Solorio a few years later, I brought him over to Solorio because he wanted to stay at Chicago Academy. And then I saw some little student running around Solorio in Gage Park, and I said, Victor, 
that student looks like you. You belong over here. And he ended up at the founding principal of Solorio uh, Academy High School. He's been with us 20 years. So he gets the Martin J. Kodak Principal Leadership Award. Victor in a rally. Well, um, we're going to stay up on the stage, and I think Anna's going to come back up, and they want to have a photo shoot. At the, this is coming to the conclusion of the program. I want to th thank Greg Case and Aon. I want to thank Mike and Robin Zabrowski for their philanthropy. Their you know, these are all volunteers. I want to thank Boeing, who started with us, and Roosevelt, and now Sherry Carter. I, I want to thank Bob and Emmy King and, and, and Tony Miller, who supported Army Duncan in Washington at the Department of Ed, and Cardell Spangler for, for stepping up, and for Ken Miller and Ann, and, and for Greg and Kim Wass, and for Raj, and, and for everyone else who believes in what we do and want to continue to do the good work to bring more quality teachers to the south and west side to change the outcomes for students to give them an opportunity for a better life and thank you for being here with us and celebrating our 20th thank you again i think i think we need a final applause for all these educators on stage tonight <laughs>